message on Instagram the other day from this guy named Will, and he was like, hey. So I was like, yeah, whatever. He was like, me and this brand called The Bally's, we just came out with this new battle song called The Volt Pro. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. He was like, uh, uh, if you want to, uh, I can send you one for review. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. What is up, my glorious gang of gat gargling goblins? Den Den BMX here, and today we are indeed going to be checking out the brand new Volp Pro. That is right, Mr. Will Gay Dot Hirsch hit me up the other day, and he was like, we're coming out with something new. You want me to send you one? And I was like, ah! <laughs> What was that? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't dropped on my head. As always, I just want to give you guys a big old thank you for all the recent love and support on all my videos. It truly does mean a lot. As always, if you guys go on to enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you let me know. Help me please my dominatrix known as the YouTube algorithm by leaving a like, leave a comment, give me your thoughts and opinions, share the video around. And if you regularly watch my videos and you haven't already subscribed, then guess what? Your parents lied to you. You're the reason why they split up. It's your fault. No one else's. Their relationship was fine until you came along and you should be ashamed of yourself. You should feel bad because it's your fault. We are on the road to 20,000 subs and the sooner we get there, the sooner I'm going to stick out my gap for the Rizzler. The Rizzler being you, of course. Ah! But enough being a tool, let's talk about this Bala song that Mr. Wilbur just came out with. If you recall, about the middle of last year, Will Hirsch and the Bally's collabed and they came out with The Vulp. And it was a contestant and quite possibly the victor of the $60 to $75 Amazon Aluminum Bala song trainer war that took place last year. And overall, it was a pretty well-received Bala song. From what I know, a lot of people liked it besides the like early on QC issues with like some of the pivots that have since been fixed. And the only other complaints that I really heard were that it kind of sucked at Chaplin's and it's slippery, but you know, it's aluminum. So why was anyone surprised? But Wilson and his army of branding clones have been hard at work at creating the next iteration of the Vulp and it is finally here. And they were kind enough to send one over my way so I could make a video on it. And, th and that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> this is the Volt Pro. It weighs exactly four ounces. Isn't that quirky? This is a channel handled aluminum ballast song. And here's where we're gonna run into the first difference between the Volp and the Volt Pro. The original Volp was made out of 6061 aluminum. This brand new Volt Pro, it's made out of 7075 aluminum. Now I know some of you are probably staring at your screen going, the numbers, Mason, what do they mean? 7075 aluminum is one of, if not the highest quality of aluminum that you can get your grubby little paws on. And 6061 aluminum is like a tier two below that. So what does that mean for you? It means that the Vault Pro is going to be a hell of a lot stronger than the original Vault, and this can be quite the sufficient beater if you're okay with your aluminum ballast song looking all ugly and scuffed up. I personally am of the opinion that this thing actually looks quite nice, so I'm gonna try and keep it looking pretty good. The blade on this ballast song is made out of 440C heat-treated stainless steel. It runs on bushings, T10 pivots, and bronze phosphorus washers. This ballast song runs on press fit Zen pins. And according to this little uh, pamphlet on their website, the balance on this ballast song is a moderate handle bias, which I kind of got to agree with. Now, if you look at the blades, they do look pretty similar, but the more you look at them, you'll realize that they look kind of different. I worded that in probably the dumbest way possible. <laughs> the blade on the Volt Pro is a little more slimmed down, a little more streamlined, and as you can see, it divots inward a little bit more on the safe handle side of the Volt Pro, and that is so your fingers hook in very nice for chaplains, which is probably like the one trick that most people said the original Volp couldn't really do that well. So they went out of their way to make sure that that was rectified. They put some extra hardware at the ends of the handles to add some more tip weight as compared to the original Volp. The tolerances have been vastly improved from the Volp to the Volp Pro. My original Volp, does have tap and it has a little bit of play. This isn't the worst play ever, not by a long shot, but it does have enough to where it does have some tap. As for the Volt Pro, I don't hear anything tapping, do you? What about the play? 
There's a little bit of wiggle in my hands, but there's virtually no play. Now, some people might be like, Denny, that's an unfair comparison. You've had this Volp a lot longer than you've had the Volp Pro. And that's true, but I got play and tap on my original Volp quite shortly after receiving it. And the last thing on the Volp Pro that they wanted to work on significantly improving from the original Volp was the grip of the Balasong. And they have done that by changing the texture on the aluminum to a polished satin finish. And of course, the other thing that they did to improve the grip on this Balasong was they incorporated G10 onto these handles. And if you'll notice, this G10 doesn't just sit on the faces of the handles. It actually wraps around the entire outer part of the Balasong handles, which is pretty impressive. I don't think a channel handled Balasong has ever had G10 incorporated in such a complex way. If it wasn't obvious, Will was inspired by the LDY Cygnus when updating the Volt. It's almost like a Volt and an LDY Cygnus met each other at Blade Show. And here we have their beautiful love child. They also added a little Speed Channel-esque divot here on the side of the handles to improve grip a little bit more in that area as well. And pretty much the one thing that hasn't changed from the original Volp is just the jimping, which we will talk about here in a second when we go get into the flipping demo. Now, if you recall back when we made my Balasong collection video earlier this year, you may remember that um, I kind of got pretty damn over using this little GoPro here because it kept farting out on me and giving me a whole bunch of problems. Problems. I haven't touched the thing in months. You know what? Let's throw a battery in. Let's get our little head strap on on and let's get some POV flipping clips. Or at least try. I don't even know if this thing still works. It turned on. So, the Volt Pro. How does it flip? I really like it. I feel like I start every single review like that, but uh, I can't lie, man. I really like the way this thing flips. Now, we all know that I'm not really going to hesitate to uh, say when I don't like an aluminum handled Balasong, and 99% of the time, it's going to be because it's too slippery. But I am pleased to say that that problem is almost non-existent on the Volt Pro. I only have one little gripe when it comes to the grip ability on this Balasong, and we will get into that here in a little bit. But overall, I'm pleased to say that I've been having quite a bit of fun on this Balasong as of late, but I've also been noticing that the last couple of aluminum Balasongs I've been sent have actually been pretty dang grippy, and I am pretty dang stoked to see that change happening in this like aluminum section of the Balasong community. It seems like every brand other than Squid Industries is realizing that aluminum is really slippery and you should do stuff to fix that. Let's do some Wilma tricks. Boom, boom, boom. And then I gotta, I gotta get, get in the position. Ooh, I can confirm that Will's tricks feel really good on Will's Balasong. Isn't that a shocker? Ooh, that felt good. A lot of tricks feel really satisfying on this Balasong. Like, I don't really struggle to do anything on this Balasong. Like, I can do double scissors all day on this thing, and they feel good. I haven't done one that really felt bad. I'm not struggling at all to do the parabolics that I like to do on this Balasong. Regular fans feel good. Choker fans feel really good. Scissors. Again, they feel great. Chaplains are really like effortless on this Balasong. They wanted to make sure this thing could chaplain and it definitely can chaplain. You can do the little aerial to chaplain that everyone likes to do. It feels very nice on this Balasong. They have definitely fixed the chaplain issue. Aerials are very easy to time on this Balasong and they feel very, very good. Yeah, honestly, I'm kind of like running out of things to say because it's just like, this trick feel good. This trick feel good. They just all kind of feel good. I'm not really struggling at all to do any of these tricks that I know how to do or that I do regularly. So as we all know, this past like, I don't know, decade, I've been working on perfecting my double scissor and making them look as nice as every other person. I still do them like slow and clunky, but I've never really tried to do more than two. And like a normal person would try and do three, but I'm gonna try and get five. So let's see how well that goes. One. Okay, we're off to a good start. One. Fuck. One, two, shit, one. Uh. Three. Uh. <laughs> oh. Three. Dang it. Oh, we did five. I think that was five. Is that five or four? I was pretty sure it was five. But uh, that felt pretty dang good. Woo! I don't think I've done that many scissors in a row like ever. This little half aerial thing that I stole from Tricky feels pretty dang good. Let's see here. Short stops feel very good on this Balasong. Palm fans feel good. Parabolics feel good. I've already said all this. I'm literally running out of things to say because this thing is so nice that all I can say is that it's nice. I've just like ran out of good things to say about it because it's just good. It has very good grip, especially here in the upper register of the handles. But I think with this new like polished satin finish, it still does add a little bit more grip to the bottoms of the handles, 
where there isn't as much G10. See on the bottom of the handles, it only there's only like this little bit of strip of G10, which still does help, but uh, there's also like the jimping and this little like faux speed channel there, all to help with grip and they do just that. But I do have one little downside, one little negative thing that I don't really like about this Balasong. And it's not even really a huge con, it's just something that I don't really particularly like. And that is the jimping on this Balasong. The one thing that stayed pretty much exactly the same from the original Volt to the Volt Pro is the jimping. And don't get me wrong, it's some big aggressive jimping, but it's just a little too rounded in my opinion. I like how deep and aggressive it is, that's definitely a plus, but the little uh, jimps in the jimping just are just like rounded off just a little too much for my liking, and I wish they were just a little bit more squared, that way my fingers hook into them just a little bit more. It's literally the exact same complaint that I had with the OG Volt, and since they haven't really change the jimping it remains on the Volt Pro but sometimes depending on like how my hands are I do really feel the slipperiness in this lower half of these handles and I mean it's still not the end of the world it still has pretty decent grip especially compared to other aluminum battle songs but I still do wish they would have made this jimping just a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more squared off and if they would have done that this thing would have been like the king of grip when it comes to aluminum battle songs even compared to something like the Trident that has the whole face of the handles covered with G10 this Balasong uses a lot less G10 and it has almost the exact same amount of grip and the only place where I notice that it's a little bit slipperier is just in the lower register of these handles. But I mean while I've been doing this flipping demo it really hasn't been flying out of my hands at all so really I can't complain that much. It's still an improvement. It's just like my one little like gripe, my one little pet peeve that I personally would change about this Balasong. Other than that I am a pretty big fan of the new Volt Pro and I, another thing I really love is this colorway. This like ice blue with white G10. Oh my gosh, that's right. I totally forgot to mention that when I first got this Balasong, it was like bathed in grease. I don't know if they all come like that or if it was just mine that just for some reason got like an entire coat of grease around the entire thing. But when I got it, this was a greasy boy. It's like it stopped and filmed an FH18 video on the way over to me. I made that joke in an Instagram story. I also said in that story that even though this thing came with a substantial layer of grease coating the entire Balasong, it still had more grip than anything Squid Industries has ever made. And I, I wasn't really joking either. <laughs> I've been having a blast with this Balasong. I love the way it looks. I love the way it flips. I love the way it feels. I love Will and Brandon. Those stinky little weirdos in the Bally's really outdid themselves with this one. GG to those guys. Definitely go pick up a new Vault Pro if you're interested in it. I would recommend it. And the only negatives that I can really think of are just things that kind of pertain to me. I've noticed that a lot of people don't really have as much of a grip issue with aluminum as I do. So it, right, it really might just be a me problem. It's like every single aluminum ballast song I've been getting lately has just been one-upping each other. And this one is definitely sitting at the top. It has definitely become my new favorite aluminum ballast song. And with that, I think we're gonna conclude today's video talking about the new Volt Pro. Shout out to Nabalis and Will Hirsch and Brandon Baker and everyone else involved in the creation of this brand new Volt Pro. You guys really knocked this one out of the park. And thanks for sending one over to my dumbass. I really do appreciate it, guys. Real quick, before we go, I just wanna give a massive shout out to Cosmic Steez, Yana Kaminsky, A Horse Running, Jet, Jan Chocolock and Solar Flare. Those are the current channel members and their support really does mean a lot. If you wanna join these guys, get a shout out in my longer videos, get access to occasional members only videos and just help support the channel in a bigger way, then you can go down there, click that join button, tiers start as low as three schmeckles. There's also the super thanks button down there. It's like a little tip jar. It's like a one-time thing if you don't wanna join a membership. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. I really hope you enjoyed. Once again, if you did enjoy, let me know. How about the engagement on this video by leaving a like, leave a comment, share the video around, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. Real quick, I want to give one last big shout out to Nabalis, Will Hirsch, Brandon Baker, everyone involved in the creation of the Vault Pro. You guys really killed it. I, I, pff, I'm done being a tool. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>